Gonna do a uh, quick look at Lucio in game. Try to kind of lift the veil of uh, some of the mysteries that may be surrounding him. Take a look at some of his talents and how it all works. You may have seen the video that I did with the initial preview of his talents before he was playable yet. He's playable now for about 15 minutes, so let's get our hands on it. Lucio is an Overwatch hero. He's a very mobile, uh, music-based support new to the Nexus. Uh, 7 February he came to the PTR. And that means that he should probably be released on the February 14th. Or 13th. Um, his base movement speed is 100%. Same as other heroes. It looks like he's always skating. And he also has an attack while moving. You can use one of his aura abilities. That you can freely toggle for no mana and practically no cooldown. Between passive healing and passive movement speed. All right, so you see that our movement speed here in the character sheet is 100%. When we press W, we become 100% movement speed. And furthermore, it also affects our allies. Look at Malfurion. He's pretty fast as soon as he decides he wants to move. If you want to attack a specific target while moving around, click on that target and you will acquire a target. Even if you're outside of auto attack range, you won't even attack other things until you get in range. It's the same how Tracer works. If you're out of range, you won't do anything. If you skate by, you will focus that target specifically. If you want to make sure to attack anything that's in range, simply attack move in an area. And then you will attack whatever is close. You'll keep moving in the exact direction of your attack move, but you'll attack whatever is closest or highest priority. When you switch between archers, it will attack the closest archer. And note that I'm not pressing them. But as soon as a hero is in range, he will actually not prioritize that. He will si simply dumbly attack whatever is in range. I usually don't move around like that with auto attack. I pick a target and I move around with right click. Note that you can spam right click to move with a hero like Lucio or Tracer. Or you can hold down the right mouse button. They both have the same functionality. When you turn on your W to remove movement speed, you have a trickle healing. I'll show you what that's like. Three to three to three to three. It looks like it's about one healing, uh, four healing per second, four ticks. So it's a very small trickle healing, different than bright wings. It's 16 times as frequently, but it's a smaller amount, much smaller, less than a 16th, if that makes sense. So that's his W, you can move between these two. That's an aura effect. Then you've got the Q. The Q is deal damage and knock them back. It's a cone-shaped area, fairly wide, not too far, and it looks like that. Right. It's on a short cooldown, seven seconds, and it costs only 30 mana. And that's a pretty nice ability for a support. It's fun, it's able to set things up. And you can push people back in the team or just kind of knock them over or push them away from you or one of your teammates then you've got e e is a 15 second cooldown that actually costs a lot of mana 100 and it makes sense because w itself costs no mana sound wave is cheap and the cooldown is pretty long so amp it up 100 mana you race lucio's crossfade track volume for three seconds which means that the healing suddenly is far more friend Far more healing. Ready for Look, we're 3-3, three to three. we turn on Amp It Up, 18-18. So, big heal during that time, that's his burst heal, and it's for the entire team. Use it at the right time. Now, if you use it while your movement speed is up, it will give you a lot of extra movement speed. <laughs> Note that our move speed right now is 115%. We turn it on, we're 145. That's a lot faster than mount. Nice escape, nice chase, nice to move with the entire team, as it affects all allies as well. All right, those are his three basics. Now let's talk about his trait. His trait will automatically proc when you're next to impassable terrain. You get a, an, we'll turn off Crossfade's movement That's speed just to see the difference. We're 100% and it goes to 120%. Anytime you're at impassable terrain, you will gain this bonus. Now, if you stop in the entirely, then it won't happen. Then you're, it doesn't look like you're flying, but as long as you're moving, it happens. Wow. The approximate distance well is practically touching it. Well it looks like you don't exactly have to touch it, actually. 
when you actually push into the wall, you're going to get slowed down a lot because you're going to keep trying to clip into the smallest cavity of the wall. But if you kind of just not entirely go into it, you move faster. This is combinable with the uh, crossfade, and then you actually get a movement speed of 135%, which is faster than mount, very useful. You can do that against any impossible terrain. Also, it removes collision size. Lucio can walk through other units, and his movement speed is increased. So it's a great escape and a great initiation as well. And then finally, his heroics. It's kind of like a massive storm shield that rapidly deteriorates. So a one second delay, you do a storm shield on allies around you, and I'll kind of show that here. Level 10. And it looks like this. Let's break it down. And you can keep moving while you cast it, which is pretty cool. Let's say I want to save Malfurion, I'll do it from here and miss it. Or <laughs> I don't miss it. Massive shield and uh, it will deteriorate to less and less and less. And it comes at level 10, it has a 70 second cooldown. Really fun, it looks good and it sounds good. Awesome. All right. And then you've got Reverse Amp. A Reverse Amp is basically going to affect your aura ability, Crossfade, and it will do a either a damage or a slow on the opponent. So basically the opposite of your standard bonus buffs. So right now I'm slowing Arthas, as you can see, and it lasts for four seconds. That was the drop. But during it, I don't think you're buffing movement speed anymore, are you? Oh, you still are. Okay. So you're still speeding up allies with your base, and you're slowing down opponents. A massive double effect that will vastly increase mobility for your team. Now, let's say I turn it to the other one, the healing one. Now we're damaging Arthas. And... Just for the purpose of illustration, we'll not attack Arthas. 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19. How much does it say it does? 309 damage per second. Oh, it's far more than 4 ticks per second. Now we have a Twitch baby smile. Far more. Both the healing and the damage is far more than 4 ticks per second. Okay, cool. So uh, that's his uh, second alt. And now we're going to go take a look at his uh, talents. How he can buff uh, different things. Increase the base movement speed of crossfade to 20%, up from 15%, so 5% extra, it's nice. Um, kill 5 enemy heroes while crossfade's speed boost is active. While speed boost is active. So even if you are doing the healing, quickly switch to speed as someone dies. Not an easy switch. I wonder if there's any grace period. Uh, permanently increase the amp. The amp it up bonus for crossfade speed boost to 60%. So let's say complete quests. And now when we use amp it up. Oh, boom! Damn. Oh damn! <laughs> 160. And when we're at the wall, it's 180. Let's give it a spin. Amp it up. Good thing that shit is on the 15 second cooldown. Hello! Oh, this is my jam! <laughs> this is my jam! Alright, uh, the other level 1 talents is... Accelerando. Wallride's movement speed bonus gradually increases to 40% over 4 seconds. So normally it's 20 extra. And this is gradually increasing to 40 over 4 seconds. So let's check that out. Uh, we now currently have crossfade off, uh, the, the crossfade uh, speed boost. We have healing boost off, we have, we have healing boost on, speed boost off. So, 120, 121, 120, 130, and 140. If I disengage for a bit, it's okay. Note that right here next to my portrait, there is a bar. When that bar drops to zero, to the bottom, that's when you lose the boost. So as long as you go to the wall often enough, you will keep the 140% speed boost. What is this? I don't now know what this is. So that's a pretty cool talent as well. 
And then uh, finally you've got Slip. Passing through or near an enemy hero during wall rides effect increases movement speed bonus to 70% for a second. So we can try that out by going to the wall using the grace post effect and then trying to move through Arthas. And we notify what our movement speed is. It says 120% right now. Of course, Arthas is trying to slow me down. Whoa, 170. All right, that, that's that's cool. All right, all right. Uh, level four talents. Enemies within the first half of Soundwave's range are knocked back fifty percent farther. Okay. Do we know when this is active? Is there any visual indicator? No. Okay. Um, or well, off the wall, if sound wave is cast while having wall ride speed bonus, the cooldown is reduced by three seconds. Hit 20 enemy heroes with sound wave, increase the arc and its range. Let's take a quick look at that. Choose a talent. We'll complete quests. Wow, get back. Lucio in the house. that is uh, that is cool. <laughs> Lots of knockback, but of course you do need to hit 20 enemy heroes right with it first. Time. All right, we'll go to level seven. Uh, play Lucio's crossfade tracks to nearby allies for a total of eight minutes. Multiple allies provide additional time. Increase the range. Where are we going again? So let's right. complete that quest. Wow, wow, that's huge. 25% range on a circle is pretty impressive. Okay. Uh, loudspeaker. If at least two allied heroes are nearby when amped up is cast, crossfades radius is increased by 50% for the duration. We can't quest that one up, but it will be even bigger. Unbelievable. Place a boombox that plays Lucio's active. Okay, I want to try that one. Choose a talent. <laughs> Keep up with this. Here we go. And it gets the same boost whenever I switch, which means healing. Uh, note, by the way, that this boombox does not stack with your own aura. Well, uh, let's also try out when we do reverse amp. And that one doesn't work. It doesn't work, right? Time to heal up! Yeah, it doesn't also do the alt effect. That would be OP. Lol. Okay. Uh, let's go on to the next levels. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Beat mixing. After switching crossfade tracks, if the next song plays for at least one and a half seconds, Lucio gains a shield that lasts indefinitely. Alright. Can't stop, won't stop. While Wallwright's movement speed bonus is active, immune to slow and root. That's easy to test. Oh, I like the sound of that. I hear that. If there is a fort. Yeah, can't get slowed by the fort. Pretty sick. Turn it up. Nice. Now that's my jam. Alternatively, we can go for heart style. Gain 25 armor while Warwright's movement speed is active. Or heal. Upon entering a stun silence or time stop effect. Time stop. So it's not stasis anymore and it's not stopped. Time stop. I think that's a good wording. So they changed the wording on that. This cannot happen more than once every 10 seconds. Okay. Soundwave now blinds enemies for two and a half seconds. We can imagine what that's like. Healing boost. Now heals for an additional max percentage health. If at least two allied heroes are nearby when amped up is cast, healing boost is increased by 40% for the duration. Pretty sick. Up the frequency, amped up's mana cost is reduced to 80% and dealing basic damage to enemy heroes. Okay, that's the one we need to try. Up the frequency. Let me just try to bust out of this place. 
So let's see. We we turn off our cooldown uh, resets that we had. We amp it up, and then we start attacking. We look at our cooldown for E. An excellent heal. Okay. Dealing basic attack damage. Not bad. Not bad, because our attack speed is actually 0.8 attacks per second, 0.8, really? Why does it say attacks per second, 0.8? I see three, oh, he actually attacks in three hits every time. Hmm. Why does it say attack damage 50, but what I see is 43, 43, 43? Oh, of course, he has physical armor. It'll be easier to show on the dummy. I'm a dummy. It doesn't say here that he does bursts of three attacks or four attacks. Oh yeah, four attacks. I guess that's an Overwatch thing. All right, now that's my jam. and then level 20. Reduce the cooldown of sound barrier to 30 seconds, but the shield now decays over four. Encore, swapping crossfade tracks while amp it up is active will set amp it up back to its max duration. And the initial uh, cast of amp it up removes da -da -da. Okay, I want to try out Encore. So let's say you, you're on your movement speed, and then you do E, and then you switch and you have another full set of your second ability cool that is that is strong oh let's break it, oh, let's break it down so you just look at amp it up when it's almost empty you switch and you get the other mode unless of course you need to switch earlier and that's uh lucio in a nutshell for you for now and now let's try him out in a game so he can't mount right actually yeah, that's true. He can't mount. Yeah, no mount. Cool and fun. Lots of switching. Very dynamic character. Synesthesia auditiva. Might be a reference to something. I don't know it. Uh, casting amp it up. Removes all stun. Removes all stun, slow and root effects from nearby allies. Oh, there we go. There's his cleanse. Level 20 cleanse, a la Lunara. Casting Amp It Up removes all stun and slow and root effects from all nearby allies and all slow and root effects on Lucio. Wow. <laughs> That's strong. 